Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB or you can call me Chris and today we have a good one for you and it's for real. It's always for real. We always do good ones. Today we're going to use for the first time the Broman or Brahman. I don't actually know how you say that razor which <clears throat> looks like this. It, it, is, it is a pivoting uh, razor that takes half DE blades, and I might roll in a pick or two of this um, throughout the video while I'm talking here. But anyway, we're going to be using this for the first time. We're also going to be using Declaration uh, Grooming Sellout, which is a Creed Aventus type scent. And honestly, this is one of the better scentings of a Creed Aventus type scent that I've experienced. It's very crisp. It's not muddy. Very, very nice scent. Strength is about a little over medium, probably 5.5 to 6. But I will say this is one of the better smelling Creed Aventus type soaps, Declaration Grooming. Now this is a, a pricey soap. It is $22 for four ounces or $5.50 an ounce. Woo! <laughs> so this is not a company that I would take flyers on. I have to be sure when I'm spending $5.50 an ounce. And that's just my the way I do things. Again, look at the chart. Over $5 an ounce is an expensive soap no matter how you cut it. Um, and so I don't take flyers, meaning if I'm not sure I'm going to like the scent, I will not buy it. So I'm glad they made this scent because I do like Declaration uh, Grooming soaps. But if it's not a scent I'm familiar with, I'm just not going to buy it because it's just too expensive to take flyers on for me. Perhaps not for you. Anyway, there is the soap. I'll show you the ingredients uh, right there. And this is known to be a good quality soap. So let's get back to the Broman or Brahman or whatever it's called. Uh, I ordered this maybe two, three months ago. It shipped over a month ago from the UK and finally arrived. This is uh, 43, excuse me, 35 pounds, British pounds or $43. It got to my door for 50 bucks US. So, you know, that's what it gets. The, that's the cost to get it to you in the US. I assume in the UK, it would be cheaper. And so this one uses half DE blades. It comes with this little case that you put it in like so, which is a nice touch actually. And it comes with this stand that you can put it in like so. Now this is a, I don't actually know the material on this. It feels kind of plasticky, but it's kind of cool because inside, if I can get it open, are some Permasharp blades, or at least they say they're Permasharp blades. I'll take their word for it. Uh, half DE blades, or you can take your standard DE blade and snap it in half. Um, I always like to use the blades that come with a razor because as far as I'm concerned, if a manufacturer sends a particular blade with a uh, razor, that's what they're intending it to use, to, to be used, or that's what they intend to be used, I should say. Okay, so there is our Permasharp stainless blade. I'm going to set that down for a minute. And the way this loads is the top, I, I believe, you pull it down. Now this is zinc metal die cast, but this part right here is plastic. Actually, I would have liked to have seen that maybe in aluminum or something because it kind of makes me worry about the durability of this razor, but we'll see. I tend to like metal parts on a razor, but you know, we'll see how it shaves. That's the main thing. And there you have a look at it open. And then let's see how this blade loads in. I presume you put the blade and I'm gonna try to orient it here so you can see it. It's got two notches up there. I know that's very difficult to see. I'm going to lay it in there for you, and then I'll show it to you once I get it laid in there. Okay, there you go. So now the blade is laid in there, and then this door will rotate up, and it's locked in. Again, I know that's awfully difficult for you to see due to the lighting, but there we go. We're ready to go. So let's get some water on the face and give this... Roman, a try and see what's what. Now, the first ad I ever saw for this razor said it was the first pivoting razor that used a DE blade or half blade. Not true because the leaf pivots and it uses DE blades. Uh, I don't know if they still have that advertisement out, but the first one I ever saw, I said, mm -mm. not true. I don't know if they still have that on their website. Again, this is not a this was not an item that was sent to me, nor was discounted or anything. This is, you know, I, I paid for it. 
as is the case with the vast majority of everything you see here, every now and then I'll get something and I'll tell you if it's sent to me, uh, but this one is not. I uh, reached out to the company just to ask them questions about the Razor and whether they were going to have retailers in the U.S. and so on. And I can't remember what they said. For now, they're just selling directly from, from Broman. So uh, I don't know if they have any in stock at the moment. It took a long time to get this. So I hope it was worth the wait. We shall see. This soap smells terrific, I must say. If you like Creed Aventus, this is a really good one. And by the way... I am experimenting with uh, a more thin lather. So if you don't like the way the lather looks, don't blame the soap. I'm actually putting more water in it because uh, I'm doing more straight razor shaving. So I need to practice lathering in the way that I'm gonna lather for straight razor shaving. Honestly, with DE, you can get away with almost anything, or I can, let's put it that way. Um, but with straight razor shaving, you have to be far more careful. And I was prepared to do a straight razor shave today, but then this razor came and I said, well, let's give this guy a whirl because I know people want to see that. And uh, we will put it to the test today and see how it does. So here's our first few strokes with the Brahmin. Uh, to me, it feels quite mild uh, so far. I don't feel a lot of blade at all. It feels, you know, the blade is smooth in it, so. I'm definitely liking the uh, Permasharp blade. It feels very mild to me, at least based on these first few strokes. And by the way, this soap, terrific residual slickness there. Um, Declaration Grooming is known for making a good quality soap, so I don't think you're gonna have quality issues. Um, you just have to decide whether, you know, 515 ounce is in your budget. And for some people it is, and for some people it isn't. Some people don't care at all because they calculate it out on a per shave basis and it's not a lot of money for them. But if you're looking to enjoy multiple scents and you buy a lot of soaps, then 515 ounce does get a, a quite expensive. That's, you know, double sterling, for example. Now, is this soap twice as good as sterling? No. Is it very, very good? Yes. Would you say the quality might be better than sterling? Probably. But will it, will it end up for me in a better shave than Sterling? No. So, you know, that's the way I evaluate soaps. How will the shave come out? Um, will I still get a great shave with Sterling? No cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation? Yes. And this one will do the same thing, so. There we go. Um, so initial feelings, a mild Certainly a mild razor, so don't think you're going to get a lot of blade feel um, out of this razor. It's not going to happen. But that was good, actually. Uh, it felt quite good. Maybe this is one I'll try on the head. You know, who knows? Uh, but that felt good. No complaints. Back to the Declaration Grooming. Uh, I am not in any way insulting the Declaration Grooming soap. I'm just saying it's hard for any soap to be twice as good as Sterling. And... Sterling is kind of, you know, I think many people feel feel it's a mid-tier soap, but the value is off the charts, and what does it do? It just gives you great shaves. And so the point I'm making here is that if you're someone that buys a lot of soaps, maybe you're new, and you're trying to figure out what you like and experience a lot of stuff and you're on a budget, 550 an ounce is a lot. Um, and so that's why I talk about cost, because many people are budget-oriented, Shavers. Now, this is fantastic stuff. The milk steak base here is renowned, you know, and many people love it. It's a soft soap, by the way, so you don't need to dig in when you are uh, loading your brush. Uh, I just scoop some out and put it in a bowl. And it is a very good soap, no question about it. Get, please don't mistake me. I'm, I'm not saying it's not a upper tier soap, because it certainly is. I'm just saying... It's hard for anything to be twice as good as something else, unless you're talking about a very bad soap, and Sterling is not bad soap. Um, uh, this is a great, one of the things I will say about this, um, as far as the scent, Creed Aventus being close, this is probably the best and the closest that I have experienced. Um, some of them are a little bit muddy and almost powdery, 
This one is not. So I am completely happy having bought this soap even at the price because as you know, I will buy a soap if it's got a really good scent, even if it's pricey. Um, if, it's, if I know I'm gonna love it, I just won't take a risk and buy one of their scents that I don't know I'm gonna love. Like if Declaration Grooming had say, tomorrow they came out with one that just said orange and lemon, I would buy it. I know I'm gonna like that. But if it's one of their scents that I'm not sure about, probably not. Because it's, it's too much to, you know, as I said, take a flyer on. So what I'm trying to do here is just get a little more thin lather, not, not so thick as is what I'm used to. And that's why I'm taking a little longer. I just want it to be slick. It is deliberately thin. So don't blame the declaration because it's gonna perform just fine. Uh, this is a good soap, there's just no question about it. Don't misunderstand me when I talk about cost and things like that. Okay, I wanna mention something else. There is a giveaway going on at the Scented Soldier Shaves. Whew, the Scented Soldier Shaves. The Scented Soldier Shaves. Here we go. <laughs> That's hard to say, the Scented Soldier Shaves. Okay, so giveaway going on over there at the Scented Soldier Shaves. The excellent Tim Delaney has a video. It is called, I wrote it down, 10 Great Cheap Frags Under $35, all right? So I'm gonna link the video below. Your job is to go over there, subscribe to his channel. He didn't ask you to subscribe. I am, because I think you're gonna like his channel. He's a cool dude and I like him. And I hope to get to know him better, quite frankly, because so far our interaction has just been top notch. Really like him. Anyway, go over there. First of all, hit the subscribe button. <laughs> then secondly, comment in the comments of his video, hashtag IMCDB, hashtag IMCDB. That's all you have to do. When you do that, you're entered for a free, uh, one of those fragrances that we select. I get one, you get one, that's awesome. Not only that, but I've thrown this in this Yaki Barber Pole brush and the uh, this is called the Square Root by Pascal Razor. So you'll get his frag, full bottle by the way, and it started out with a decant. Now he's up to a full bottle, I mean, great guy. So again, you get the full frag and you get the, the, the Yaki Barber Hole Synthetic Brush and the Square Root Razor by Pascal. And that shop, by the way, is, is not open right now on Etsy. So keep that in mind. You might not see those razors for a little bit. It's, it's kind of like a bevel. It's got the bevel design. Nice shaver, I used it several times. This, by the way, is a very mild shaver. So I want to make sure that anybody who wants to feel a lot of blade, if you're looking for a lot of blade feel, this is not going to be for you. Now, will it shave well? We're gonna find that out. So far, I think it's doing a great job. It feels very smooth. It almost feels like a cart um, in that you just, you're not feeling a lot of blade. So the question's gonna be, after I get done with the third pass, have I, has, it, has it done its job or do I have to do a lot of cleaning up? Now, some of that could be me getting used to the razor. So keep that in mind. You know, you can't evaluate something fully on the basis of one use. That's why I don't call these videos reviews. You know, I use things and I give my organic reaction as I'm using them. I don't do structured reviews. I have in the past, but quite frankly, I don't enjoy it. I just wanna use things and give you my thoughts as I'm using them. So you're not gonna get a comprehensive review here. Keep that in mind. First two passes though have been this is a rather pleasant shaver, and I will say, if you're someone who likes a mild shaver, you may really like this. It feels good, it feels quite non-threatening, as far as that goes. Um, it is, it's not gonna feel like a, a you know, Mula R4, R41 or something like that. Sorry, I'm tongue twisted. Let me get a little more soap out of my bowl here. Terrific soap here, terrific soap. So I think, is his name Scott? A declaration groom works. Um, I don't know if he watches these videos, but if someone knows him and they see him, tell him to please watch this video because I want to say this is great. The scent on this is the, in my opinion, the best interpretation of, of Creed Aventus 
that I have experienced to date, and I have probably eight of them in there. And this is the best that I have experienced to date. Now, you know I yap about the cost and all that, but for me, I'm extremely happy with this purchase. So, if you're a fan of, of Creed Aventus, this, <laughs> this uh, sellout, I don't even know if I said the name of it, by Declaration Grooming, it's a banger. It is a banger. Good, good scent. It, it's, to me, the, the truest or closest to what you get in the clone. And I have had decants of the actual clone, and it is really wonderful. And, I, of course, I have dupes and so forth, or inspired buys, whatever you want to call them. This soap is the best that I have experienced to date as far as being true to the clone, in my opinion. You may get it and think he's crazy, you know. Because our sniffers, keep in mind, we perceive scents differently. So, but this is fantastic. Absolutely, absolutely love it. Um, I am 100% pleased, both with the quality, um, but I'm really impressed by the scent. It's sharp, it's not powdery, it's not muddy. Some of them are. I still love the ones that are muddy, but this one just happens to be the best. And it's a good quality soap, so. Let's give Declaration Grooming their due. They are known for quality, and I have never had a bad Declaration Grooming soap. I haven't had many just because they cost, you know, I can't take flyers on them. I gotta have a sure scent. So if his name is Scott, and if he's if it's not Scott, I apologize. If you get more inspired scents, and I know the whole the whole reason for sellout is like you're selling out, making an inspired scent, do some more, please. Because <laughs> I love this. And if you do like Green Irish Tweed or Polo Green or, you know, I'll buy it, even at the price, <laughs> because I know I'm gonna get a scent that I love. I have to be sure. Okay, back to the razor. Uh, I will say this. So far, this feels like the smoothest half DE blade razor that I've tried. So there is that. I think it is quite, quite mild. I would rate it milder than most, a double-edged razor. So if you're gonna compare it to a double-edged razor, it's milder than most. So we may have to do some pickups. That's okay. Uh, I do like the pivot. I think the pivot actually helps. I'm going around these contours. As you watch, you see the razor, see how it, see how it holds to the face? So all you do is put it to your face and glide, kind of like the one blade. Very, very nice. I like that. Uh, actually, I'm, you know, it feel, I feel like I'm getting a good shave with it, you know, as far as that goes. So, I actually like the pivot. The pivot is not too stout, but it's stout enough. So, when you go over that jawline, see how it's just holding in place? That's what a pivot should do. Now, with the DE, you know, you have to use your arm to pivot. But this one takes care of it for you. And uh, this might be, you know, I might give this a go on the dome and see how it goes, you know. My preferred dome shaver is the leaf, uh, but we'll see how this one goes. Now the advantage uh, this one has over the leaf is the leaf is, you see how tall it is? So on your face, this one might be better for people, but on my dome, this one might be. I don't know, I haven't tried this one yet, but we will. We're definitely gonna give it a go because not very many people have uh, used this razor. I think Ken Surf's has in Mantic. Um, I feel almost no blade at all. It is that, as far as blade feel goes, there's very little. So we're gonna have to see how we did and see if we actually did a great job shaving or we just moved the razor around our face and pushed leather around. <laughs> so let's feel here. Not bad, actually. Very good on the cheeks. I think I could use some more. I'm gonna do something I never do. All right, and before you say that, you know it's probably a bad thing. I never go against the grain on my neck. I do, you'll notice I do one downward pass and two up. That is across the grain, but we're gonna try it here today. Actually, it's this way. And see. This typically is bad for me, so that's why I don't do it. And I always advise you, 
If your face talks to you and tells you something, you need to listen. But I found with the one blade that I could get away with this. So we're gonna see if we can get away with, with this razor and see uh, if it creates any weepers or irritation. With the standard DE, this is bad for me. It will create irritation, weepers, so on and so forth. Uh, it feels pretty good with this one though. I mean, we'll have to wait a second and when we put our witch, witch hazel on and feel around. Again, the key word with this razor, mild, not a lot of blade feel. So if you want a lot of blade feel, maybe not for you if you're used to. Uh, okay, pretty good. What I need to do is actually start stretching during my DE shaves too. It's not bad. Okay, let's rinse our face and then come back and we'll feel around and see how we did. Stay tuned. All right, we're back here with our Lancaster Razor Works black sheep towel. And we are gonna see, just a moment, how we did. First time using the Broman, or Brahman, Broman, I don't know. <laughs> we, we shall see how we have done. And I went across the grain on my neck, which is usually a no-go. It seems to be okay. Let's throw some witch hazel on first. I do not think we sustained any nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, troubles. And the, that for me is the bar for a DE shave. Unless I achieve all those things or, or avoid all those things, I should say, I'm usually not particularly happy. How did we do? No weepers. Let me look in the mirror over there so I can see better. Okay. I think we did just fine. Um, actually not bad. Um, okay. Based on first use, initial impressions, it did pretty well. I would say of the half DE blade razors I've tried for the face, you know, this is pretty good. It is mild. If you have a super coarse beard and you want a lot of aggression and blade feel, this one may or may not be for you, but I can tell you, you're not gonna get a lot of blade feel for sure. It still might shave you well. You'll have to experiment with it. Um, from the perspective of a first run, I'm pleased with it. It is quite mild, it's pretty easy. Uh, on the face, and so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, for the first round, I will say. The soap we used today, Declaration Grooming Sellout. Uh, in my opinion, this is the best Creed Aventus inspired soap that I have tried to date, and I have tried many, nearly all of them. This one is fantastic, it is pricey, but the scent on it is incredible. The quality is very good. Um, I'm very happy with this purchase. If you like Creative Ventus, I say it's probably worth the money. Uh, we use the West Coast Shaving. Uh, this is the two-tone synthetic brush. Very, very inexpensive. Usually $20 or under or somewhere thereabouts. And we're going to finish up today with the Fine um, Platinum, which is, it's not quite as, it doesn't have the zip that Fine Platinum once had, or at least the first version they ever produced. It hung around a good while. This one does not. So you ha you can fix that by getting some uh, Armoff um, Club de Nuit Intense Man. Club de Nuit Intense Man. I'll put a link that down below if you're interested. That will fix the problem. Uh, the Fine Platinum EDT, which I have, does not hang around either. So my recommendation is go to the Armoff. It will hang around and it does a great job. Okay, I wanna thank everybody for watching. Don't forget. Go to the Scented Soldier Shaves link below, hashtag CDB to enter into that giveaway. You're gonna to wanna to do that. I wanna thank everyone for joining once again. Until next time, I'm reminding you, I'm your host CDB, and I'm reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and God bless.